So now we're going to do an intro to scripting course. Uh, it's important to understand why we're scripting. Um, and the critical factor is that while Grasshopper is a visual scripting tool, it, there's a lot of functionality that scripting or coding um, allows that Grasshopper has kind of simplified for you. It's made it very simple to do parametric modeling, um, which is great for people getting into the field. But scripting allows you to have um, much more in-depth control of, of geometry and of um, iterations in the way that you deal with geometry, as well as um, giving you a few more f functionalities that Grasshopper only sort of does. For instance, uh, looping and iterations is a really important part of scripting that Grasshopper only sort of touches on. Um, and this can be really important when you're doing something like an optimization or um, a relaxation or any kind of physics where you have to iterate through, um, through a kind of change um, and if many, many times over and over. And if you were to do that in Grasshopper, you'd have to copy and paste. Or um, you, there is hoop stake now that allows you to do that. Um, but the way that you can organize it in a script is um, perhaps arguably a lot simpler and, um, and easier to, to wrap your head around. And you have to sort of use less workarounds to deal with it. Though to some extent, some of this is about taste. Um, some of us started in coding and prefer to be in coding in script because our, our thoughts are organized that way and we think it's, it works much better that way. Um, some, some people prefer the visual approach that Grasshopper has. Though I think almost anybody would tell you that, there, that there's a time and place for both. Because um, Grasshopper makes scripting a lot easier in some senses, but it makes some parts of scripting where, where you're getting into more depth or more advanced scripting, it makes it a lot harder to do. So as you get better at both, you'll see when to use one and when to use others.